have been the most very exciting. Hey, 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 I'm Yvonne. And I'm Celine. Welcome to the Maiden, yes, Maiden, broadcast the Razor TV going out all around Singapore and beyond. Yes, it's our birthday today. Happy birthday, Razor TV. Happy birthday, that's right. <laughs> so if you're online, come on, shout out your hellos to us right now. Mm-hmm. Right, our lines of communication are open, so SMSs or better yet, MMSs. You can also email us or if you have Skype, whenever you, wherever you are, call us for a chat via webcam. Yeah, we'd love to talk to you. Celine and I will be here for the next hour and a half, so yeah, we'll be happy to, you know, hook up with you. So contact us. Exactly. If you're stuck at your desk at work, don't sweat it, because now we are online. That's right. You can spend your lunch hour with us. We have lots of great stuff coming up. Yep, so many things happening today. The biggest thing, of course, Celine, is... Ba, ba, ba. 08, 08, 08, 8th <laughs> of August, 2008, today. That's right, Triple Eight aside, the hottest story around town today, unfortunately, is not about us. No, not it's us. It's even bigger. How big? Well, that's the $8 million question. Yeah, I know, I know. It's about the $8 million total draw. Yeah. It's got everyone, everyone in Singapore buzzing. That's right, today's the $8 million day. I tell you, every hot-blooded Singaporean mm-hmm. will be on the edge of their seats like us all mm-hmm. day today. Who will win the eight million That's dollars? Right. Even winning part of the eight million will be cool. Well, <laughs> one million, well, it's good enough for me, but it's not as cool as eight million dollars, though. Look, mm-hmm. look, you know, I got my ticket. Mm-hmm. I got it stashed nicely under my drawer, and it must be the winning ticket. Where? Where is it? Tell me. Uh, it must be mine. No, it's not yours. It's mine. I'm, I'm hidden it well. Well, we don't know who's going to win the 8 million bucks. All we know is it's going to be one crazy day for punters all over the island. Yeah, but even right now, even as we speak, even as you're, you are sitting at your desk with your, in your air-conditioned office, many, many Singaporeans are still queuing up during the lunch break just to buy that last-minute winning ticket. It could be you. And the Razor TV crew is actually in the heartlands today with our reporter, Christina. And she's at what we call the winningest outlet in Singapore. What's that? What's the winningest? Yep, it's in my... Show winner. Uh, yeah, show winner. It's really in my dictionary. Yeah. Well, it's the outlet which has sold the most number of total winners. Isn't that winningest? 26 winning tickets alone, you know, from this Ooh. 7-Eleven store at Block 102, Eastern Avenue 5. Oh, okay. Anyway, Let's here's this. Her. Come we on. asked Christina to check out the lunchtime total queue there. Cool. We'll cross live to Christina. Hello. I'm Christina. Hi. Hey, Christina. Yeah, we can Hi. see you, Christina. Wow. <laughs> it looks like... Hello. Oh, can look at that queue. Can you hear us, Christina? Hi, Yvonne and Celine. Can you... Right. Tell us, how many people do you think are over there? It looks like a sea of people oh. over there. Yeah, it's crazy. It's quite a long queue over here, actually. Uh-huh. There's quite a long queue over here actually and it's actually snaking around block 102. Okay. Yeah, the queue is kind of like sneaking around to the corner, yeah? It's that long. Yes! How oh. come you're not in the queue? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing there? I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna join the queue very very soon after I finish talking with you guys. Could you I buy one on my behalf please? Hustle and bustle. <laughs> Alright. So, are you... Can you, can you just tell us a bit about how the atmosphere is there? How, how people are looking in that queue, you know, excited Everybody. they are? Everybody. Yes, definitely. Definitely, Yvonne. I'm actually seeing a lot of people busily looking at their papers in front of them. I think that's their lucky numbers. Have you peeked over anyone's shoulder yet? You know what the lucky number could be? Yeah. I'm going to pick it afterwards and then I'm going to tell you what's a lucky number and we might be able to strike something tonight. You can remember to share it with us, yeah? Of course, Yvonne. Definitely. Oh, I will miss you. How long have these people been queuing and up? Selena as well. Christina. How long have these people been queuing up? Since when? I think now for the past three days we have actually been here. The queue has maintained at a certain length. And today the length of the queue has actually grown longer. Ooh. Longer and longer and I think every day. Here since morning. Wow, this is crazy. Mm. I'm gonna when ask will the results be, later. When will the results be known again? I'm not much of a total person. When will the results be out again? The results will be out tonight at 9.30pm. Okay. Oh, I thought it was 8 o'clock. 8.08. 8. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll be listening out for that. Thanks right. a lot, Christina. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you, Celine. Oh, we'll catch up with her a little while to see yeah. how the queue is going. Longer, wow, longer. so many people there. Oh, crying money, no enough, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, the other big thing that is happening around town today, besides the total draw, is the 080808. Dun, 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 Weddings! Dun, 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 That's right! Yeah, it's a beautiful <laughs> number to get married. 
254 couples will be mm. getting married today. Oh, why not 888? Hmm. Uh, because, you know, not so many people want to get married now. How come, strangely? Well, we don't want to go there. But we did do some research. Mm -hmm. Found out that's less than the number of people who tied the knot on July 7th last year. That's okay. 07, 07, 07, when 777 people got married. But how so? Why? Why is that so? That's really sad, isn't it? Well, just, I would have assumed it would be a great day to get married. Yeah, I don't Memorable. know. Memorable. I, I don't know. And it was like a really perfect number, 777. Mm -hmm. I wonder how the couples, you know, got together and decided... That's okay, right. la, I think not to make it 778, seven, I would, wouldn't get married this year. You but know what I mean? about this year? I mean, like, could it be because of the Hungry Ghost Festival, you think? Oh, maybe? yeah, it falls right in the you know, beginning mm -hmm. fringe of uh, our, our, our Hungry, Hungry Ghost Festival. Yeah, but, okay, no but would you be affected? I mean, if your parents were really pantang about it, would you, would you give a hood no, about it? No, not really. It doesn't not affect really? me. You but sure? I, yeah, but I wonder what's going to happen next year in 09, 09, 09. But the, <laughs> the same thing will happen. People will flock to get married. Well, our reporter Shi Ting actually went down to the registry this morning to Kepo Kepo, and we'll get back to you a little later about the solemnizations taking place.